Hey guys, I'm going to be finally doing a video on how to magnetize a Soothe or Gumdrop pacifier. They're really the same way of the same method of how I use it would also work for a Gumdrop. So, yeah, I'm going to be using a Soothe though. This one has already been magnetized before, but I just took the magnet off so I could demonstrate. So you're going to need a Soothe or a Gumdrop pacifier. Um, a magnet and some E6000 glue. I have tried this with um, a glue gun but it doesn't work because the glue isn't strong enough so it eventually comes off the pacifier so I always use E6000 glue because it works and um, it's kind of messed up and I use like baby wipes because it leaks out all the time so you're going to want it to be on like a protective surface like a paper towel or a just like changing pad thing so you're not going to want to do it on something like a that could get glue on it and ruin it and then some other things that are helpful sometimes while doing this are some tissues and some baby wipes in case the glue leaks so I'm going to be putting the camera on the tripod and demonstrating how to do this and the good thing about this one is there's no scissors needed you don't need to cut anything and you don't need to modify anything to get it in you can just do it with these simple materials so I have my pacifier here and what I'm gonna do is tuck the um, end part of it into this part I'll just show you guys it's easy so you push this and you kind of push it in so it goes like that so it sort of looks like this and like that on the outside and then you're going to want to push this in just a little bit so you can fit a magnet inside that hole as you can see and then you can see there it looks like that so that's all you need to do so as you can see there's a little the nipples like right here so just a little bit of space for a magnet to fit in there. So I'll show you guys again once more. It's really easy. So here's your pacifier. You're just going to want to push it in like this. So it goes like that. And you have this. And then to prevent it from being like a weird circle shape like that, you're going to want to push the sticking out part just in a little bit so you have a little bit of space there. And then that's what it should look like. You're going to want to get your Reborn and see what side their magnet is. So once you know what side the magnet is you need, you have your pacifier here. And you're going to take your E6000 and you're just going to put a bunch inside this little hole right here. As you can see, I'm just kind of filling this hole full of E6000. There's a lot in there. So can kind of see the glue right there and you're going to want to kind of take the parts that go off just kind of put them on a wipe on a baby, uh, baby wipe and kind of smooth out the surface a little bit with the tissue and then once you have that little hole area all full of E6000 you're just going to place your magnet in it and then it's going to kind of, the glue is going to kind of come up and that's what you want it to do. So you're just going to keep pushing the magnet into the glue. And the glue will cover it, which is what you want it to do. So the magnet will never come loose unless you want it to, if you're forcing it to. So with this glue, with this extra glue that comes up, you're just going to want to keep pushing it. And then you're going to want to rub it on top of the magnet so that it covers it. So, yeah, you're going to want to make sure you get the whole magnet, and also by doing this, it protects your Reborns. Um, lip paint, you want to keep pushing it into the glue until the magnet is mostly covered and looks even. All you just wanted to do was fill the whole area with a bunch of E6000 and then place your magnet in there and kind of let it 
um, sink inside the glue and then spread the glue over the top of the magnet. And as you can kind of see, the magnet's covered with some E6000 and that acts as a protectant for the lip paint so that it prevents it from scratching off. And it also helps prevent the magnet from coming loose from the glue because it's kind of like double sealed in there from the bottom and the top. So the top kind of overlaps to the seal, so. Yeah, that is how I magnetize my Sudi pacifiers and also the gumdrop ones. The gumdrop ones work the same way because they have the same type of nipple and they're basically the same pacifier except the gumdrop is shaped different. This is what it looks like in the end. It kind of pokes out a little but it's really the only way I think that this could work without having to put something over the hole if you were to cut it. So that is my way of magnetizing a soothing pacifier and I thought of this completely myself so I hope you guys like my technique and all you have to do is wait a few days for this glue to dry and then you should be all set to put it on your report so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed my way of making a magnetized soothing pacifier for your reborn. So that is how you do it. It's as simple as that. So let me know if you guys have any questions about doing this. But other than that, I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.